Well, prepare to be amazed as we delve into the expansive terrain of this northern powerhouse. As the second largest country in the world, Canada stretches from the Atlantic Ocean in the east, to the Pacific in the west, and up to the Arctic Ocean in the north. Each corner of the country presents a unique geographical tapestry, from the towering Rocky Mountains to the sprawling prairies, the rugged coastlines to the sprawling boreal forests. Canada's climate, too, is as diverse as its landscapes. It ranges from temperate on the west coast, to a subarctic climate in the north, and everything in between. And let's not forget about the over 2 million lakes scattered across Canada, accounting for more than half of the world's freshwater supply. Canada's geography is a testament to the country's sheer size and ecological diversity. Get ready to embark on this journey across Canada's impressive landscape. Imagine standing on the edge of the continent, where the land meets the mighty oceans. On the western edge of Canada, the Pacific coast stretches from the southern tip of British Columbia to the northernmost reaches of the Yukon. This region is defined by rugged mountains, lush rainforests, and a coastline that's intricately carved by fjords. The Pacific's marine climate brings mild, wet winters and warm, dry summers, making it a haven for a diverse array of flora and fauna. Now, journey with me to the opposite coast, where the Atlantic laps against the shores of the eastern provinces. Here, you'll find a starkly different landscape. From the rocky cliffs of Newfoundland and Labrador to the sandy beaches of Prince Edward Island, the Atlantic coast offers its own distinct form of beauty. Its climate varies from humid continental in the north to more temperate maritime conditions in the south, nurturing a rich biodiversity of its own. But the Pacific and Atlantic coasts are more than just picturesque landscapes. They're economic powerhouses, serving as gateways for international trade. They're also cultural melting pots with communities that have been shaped by centuries of immigration, indigenous heritage, and the ebb and flow of the sea. From fishing villages to bustling seaports, from the ancient rainforests of the Pacific to the historic lighthouses of the Atlantic, these coastal regions are integral to Canada's identity. From the roaring Pacific waves to the serene Atlantic beaches, Canada's coasts are a testament to its geographical diversity. Now, let's journey from the coasts into the heartland of Canada. Our next stop takes us to the Central Plains, a vast expanse of land that stretches out as far as the eye can see. This is where you'll find the prairies, a region of undulating grasslands, punctuated by the occasional rolling hill. The prairies are a sea of gold in the summer, as wheat and canola fields sway in the breeze under the clear blue sky. Adjacent to the prairies, you'll encounter the Great Lakes region, a collection of five interconnected freshwater lakes that hold about one-fifth of the world's fresh surface water. These lakes, Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie, and Ontario, are a testament to the power of nature and the last ice age. The climate here is as varied as the landscape itself. The prairies can be hot and dry in the summer, but winters can be harsh, with temperatures dropping well below freezing. The Great Lakes region, on the other hand, experiences more moderate temperatures thanks to the influence of the massive bodies of water. Biodiversity is a hallmark of these regions. The prairies are home to a variety of wildlife, from pronghorn antelope to prairie dogs, while the Great Lakes host a vibrant ecosystem of fish, birds, and other aquatic life. The Central Plains are not just a geographical marvel, but also a vital cog in Canada's economic machine. The prairies are the country's breadbasket, producing most of its wheat and canola. The Great Lakes region, meanwhile, is a hub of industry, with bustling cities and busy ports dotting the shoreline. The Central Plains, with their fertile soils and sprawling lakes, are the breadbasket of Canada. Brace yourselves as we venture into the frosty realms of the Canadian North. The Arctic and subarctic regions of Canada are a world unto themselves, a vast expanse of snow and ice, punctuated by hardy flora and fauna that have adapted to the harsh conditions. This is a land where the ground remains permanently frozen, known as permafrost, and where the sun barely rises above the horizon in winter, casting long shadows across the ice. In this frosty realm, you'll find the largest non-polar ice fields in the world, along with a unique blend of biodiversity. Polar bears roam freely, while seals, walruses, and whales populate the icy waters. Arctic foxes and caribou have adapted their coats to the extreme cold, and the skies are home to migratory birds like the snow goose. The climate in these regions is stark and unforgiving. Winter temperatures can plunge to minus 50 degrees Celsius, 
and the summer offers only a brief respite, with temperatures hovering just above freezing. The Arctic region in particular is one of the world's most sensitive to climate change, experiencing warming at twice the rate of the rest of the globe. Yet even in this challenging environment, opportunities emerge. The region is rich in natural resources like oil, gas, and minerals, beckoning industries with the promise of wealth. Moreover, as the Arctic ice recedes due to global warming, new shipping routes are opening up, transforming Canada's northern frontier into a strategic gateway. The icy expanses of the Arctic and subarctic regions are a testament to Canada's resilience and adaptability. So, we've traversed from the warm coastal edges to the chilly northern tips of Canada. As we've discovered, this vast nation is a testament to the power and beauty of nature. From the Pacific to the Atlantic, Canada's coastline stretches over 200,000 kilometers, a distance so great it's hard to fathom. These coasts serve as home to diverse marine life and bustling port cities, each with their distinct cultures shaped by the ocean's rhythm. Moving inward, we've journeyed through the prairies, those endless stretches of flatlands that form the country's heartland. They're not just vast fields of wheat and canola, they're the breadbasket of Canada, a testament to the country's agricultural prowess. Then, we navigated the Great Lakes, those majestic freshwater bodies that hold about a fifth of the world's surface fresh water. They serve as a vital waterway, fostering trade and connectivity. Further north, we've ventured into the Arctic and subarctic regions, lands of extreme weather and resilient wildlife. Here, the Inuit people have thrived for thousands of years, their culture intertwined with the ice, snow, and the elusive northern lights. Each of these regions represents a unique chapter in Canada's geographic journey, painting a picture of a country defined by its vastness and diversity. They're more than just landscapes. They're the backdrop to Canada's rich history and culture, shaping the lives of those who call this land home. From coast to coast, from plains to peaks, Canada's geography is as diverse and expansive as the country itself. Have you ever wondered why Mexico is one of the world's most geographically diverse countries? Today, we're going to embark on a journey to uncover this mystery. Mexico's geography is as varied as its culture, a mosaic of distinct regions, each with its own unique character. Picture this. On one end, we have the Pacific and Atlantic coasts with their stunning beaches and rich marine life. Then, there's the Central Highlands, a region of towering mountains and deep valleys. Travel further and you'll encounter the Northern Desert, a vast expanse of sand and cacti that's as harsh as it is beautiful. And let's not forget the southern jungles teeming with a dizzying array of flora and fauna. Each of these regions contributes to the geographic tapestry that is Mexico, making it a marvel to explore. Mexico's distinct regions each hold their own geographic story waiting to be told. Imagine a vast coastline stretching over 7,000 kilometers with a spectacular display of cliffs, beaches, and bays. Welcome to Mexico's Pacific Coast. This is a geographical marvel that extends from the border with the United States in the north to the southern edge of Mexico, hugging the azure waters of the Pacific Ocean. The coastline, a fascinating blend of high cliffs and low sandy beaches, is interrupted by numerous bays and inlets, creating a landscape that is as diverse as it is beautiful. The Pacific Coast plays a crucial role in Mexico's economy. It is home to several bustling ports, such as Manzanillo and Lazaro Cardenas, which serve as vital links for trade with Asia and the United States. The region is also a magnet for tourism, with sun-soaked destinations like Acapulco and Puerto Vallarta attracting millions of visitors each year. But the importance of the Pacific Coast extends beyond economics. This region is a biodiversity hotspot, teeming with an array of marine and terrestrial species. The Sea of Cortez, also known as the Gulf of California, is a marine paradise, home to a plethora of species including the majestic blue whale, playful dolphins, and countless varieties of fish. On land, the coastal regions host an array of flora and fauna, from the towering cacti of the Sonoran Desert to the lush rainforests of Chiapas. Let's not forget the cities that dot this coastline. There's Tijuana, a vibrant border city known for its lively street art scene and diverse food culture. Further south, you find the historic city of Mazatlan, with its beautifully preserved colonial architecture and renowned carnival. And then there's Puerto Escondido, a hidden gem that's become a haven for surfers from around the world. Natural attractions along the coast are plentiful. The stunning cliffs of Acapulco, the pristine beaches of Cabo San Lucas, the tranquil lagoons of Bahia de Banderas, 
and the awe-inspiring marine life in the Sea of Cortez are just a few examples of the natural wonders that make the Pacific Coast a must-see destination. The Pacific Coast, a stunning mix of nature's artistry and human endeavor is just one of many geographic spectacles in Mexico. Moving inland from the Pacific Coast, we find ourselves in the heart of Mexico, the Central Highlands. This region is a geographical marvel, a high plateau flanked by rugged mountain ranges, the Sierra Madre Oriental to the east, and the Sierra Madre Occidental to the west. At the center of this plateau, we find the Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt, an active volcanic chain that has shaped the landscape with its fiery eruptions. The Central Highlands are not just a geographical wonder, but a region steeped in history and culture. This is the cradle of pre-Columbian civilizations, where the Aztecs and the Mayans left their indelible marks. The remnants of their great cities, like Teotihuacan and Cholula, stand as silent witnesses to a time of grandeur and sophistication. The Central Highlands are also the economic powerhouse of Mexico. The region is home to Mexico City, one of the world's largest metropolises, pulsating with industry, commerce, and culture. The city of Guadalajara, known as the Silicon Valley of Mexico, is a hub of innovation and technology. Nature has endowed the Central Highlands with a wealth of attractions. The Monarch Butterfly Biosphere Reserve, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a spectacle of nature where millions of monarch butterflies migrate each year. The Cumbres de Mallorca National Park, with its dramatic rock formations, is a haven for hikers and nature lovers. And let's not forget the stunning Popocatapetl and Iztachihuatl volcanoes, a sight to behold and a testament to the region's volcanic past. The Central Highlands are also a gastronomic paradise. This is the land of tequila and mariachi, where the blue agave plantations stretch as far as the eye can see, and the sounds of mariachi music fill the air. The region's cuisine, a blend of indigenous and Spanish influences, is a riot of flavors that has earned it a place on the world's culinary map. The Central Highlands, a region of cultural richness and historical significance, give Mexico its beating heart. This is where the pulse of Mexico is felt most strongly, where its past and present converge, and where its future is being shaped. Venture north, and Mexico's geography takes yet another dramatic turn, into a world of deserts and plains. This arid region, a stark contrast to the lush highlands and coastal areas, is a testament to the country's diverse landscapes. Dominated by the Chihuahuan and Sonoran deserts, northern Mexico is a tapestry of rugged mountains, expansive plains, and desert vegetation. Despite the harsh conditions, life thrives here, both human and wildlife. The region serves as a major economic hub, with bustling industries in mining and agriculture. Beneath the desert surface lies a wealth of minerals creating a thriving mining industry. The plains, on the other hand, are utilized for large-scale farming, producing crops like wheat and cotton that significantly contribute to the country's economy. Yet, what truly sets this region apart is its natural beauty. The sunsets over the vast plains, the silhouette of cacti against a starlit sky, the desert blooming after a rare rain, these sights are unmatched. The deserts and plains of the north, with their stark beauty and economic value, add another layer to Mexico's geographic tapestry. Finally, we journey south, where Mexico's geography unveils its green heart, the lush jungles. This region is a spectacular tapestry of tropical rainforests, mangrove swamps, and cloud forests. It's a haven for biodiversity, hosting a vast array of unique flora and fauna. The verdant canopies are alive with the chatter of countless bird species, while the forest floor teems with insects and mammals. But it's not just nature that thrives here. Southern Mexico is also rich in cultural history. The dense jungle hides ancient remnants of the Mayan civilization. Time-worn stone temples and pyramids peek through the foliage, a testament to a civilization that once flourished here. These archaeological sites, scattered across the landscape, add a layer of mystery and intrigue to the region. In the heart of Mexico's southern jungles, both life and history intertwine, painting a vibrant picture of the country's geographic diversity. The southern jungles, teeming with life and history, complete Mexico's geographic story. From the Pacific coast to the central highlands, the northern deserts to the southern jungles, Mexico's geography is a journey of diversity and contrast. We've explored the Pacific treasures, trekked through the central highlands, endured the arid deserts and ventured into the green heart of the country. Each region with its unique topography, climate and vegetation narrates a different chapter of Mexico's geographic tale. 
Mexico's geography, a story of diversity and contrast, is a testament to the country's rich and varied heritage. Have you ever pondered over the sheer size and diversity of the United States? Spanning over three and a half million square miles, it proudly stands as the third largest country by area. It's a tapestry of 50 states, 16 territories, and a federal district, each with its unique geographical features. From towering mountains and vast deserts to lush forests and expansive plains, the United States paints a breathtaking portrait of Mother Nature's diversity. Indeed, the United States is a geographical marvel, testament to the diversity of Mother Nature. When you think of heights, the U.S. surely doesn't disappoint. From east to west, the United States is graced with some of the most breathtaking mountain ranges in the world. One of the oldest mountain ranges on Earth, the Appalachian Mountains, stretches from the southern tip of Alabama all the way up to the northeastern reaches of Maine. These ancient mountains are a testament to the unyielding endurance of nature. As we move westward, we encounter the majesty of the Rocky Mountains. Extending from the northernmost part of British Columbia in Canada to New Mexico, the Rockies are renowned for their rugged beauty and diverse wildlife. The Rockies are home to the Continental Divide, which determines the flow of rivers either to the Atlantic or Pacific Ocean. But what about the highest peak in the United States? That title goes to Mount McKinley in Alaska, standing tall at over 20,000 feet. This colossal peak is a daunting challenge for even the most seasoned climbers, and it dominates the Alaskan landscape with its stunning presence. Let's not forget about the active volcanoes that add a touch of fiery energy to the U.S. geography. The Pacific Northwest and Alaska are home to these sleeping giants, which remind us of the Earth's constant dynamic evolution. From towering peaks to rumbling volcanoes, the U.S. is a land of dramatic highs. It's a land that invites us to look up, to climb, to explore, and to marvel at the sheer power and beauty of nature. The U.S. is not just about land, it's about water, too. We're talking about oceans, lakes, rivers, and everything in between. Let's start with the Great Lakes Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie, and Ontario. They're like five freshwater seas right in the heart of North America, holding six quadrillion gallons of water. That's more than all the other lakes in the world combined. Next, we journey along the Missouri River, the longest river in the country, meandering over 2,300 miles from Montana to Missouri. It's a river that's seen explorers, pioneers, and countless sunsets carving its way through the heartland of America. And then there's Crater Lake in Oregon, the deepest lake in the U.S., plunging to a depth of 1,943 feet. It's a caldera, formed over 7,000 years ago when a massive eruption caused a volcano to collapse in on itself. But we can't forget about the coastlines, can we? The Atlantic, Pacific, and Gulf Coasts each carry their own unique charm. The rugged cliffs of the Pacific, the sun-kissed beaches of the Atlantic, and the warm, tranquil waters of the Gulf Coast provide a stunning contrast to the country's interior landscapes. The United States is truly a country sculpted by water. From the majestic Great Lakes to the mighty Missouri River, the serene Crater Lake to the varied coastal landscapes, water shapes its geography, influences its climate, and enriches its biodiversity. With its vast lakes and extensive coastline, the U.S. is a country shaped by water. The U.S. is not all about high peaks and deep waters. There's a flat and arid side, too. Let's embark on a journey to the desolate yet awe-inspiring expanses of the United States. First, let's wander into the Mojave Desert, the driest desert in the U.S. With its iconic Joshua trees and vast sand dunes, the Mojave is a testament to life's resilience in the face of harsh conditions. Not far away, we find the Sonoran Desert, a vibrant wilderness alive with flora and fauna. From the towering saguaro cacti to the elusive Gila monster, we then move to the Great Basin, a cold desert that stretches across multiple states. Known for its stunning landscapes of sagebrush and mountain ranges, it's a place of dramatic beauty where solitude can truly be savored. From the dry expanses we traverse to the Great Plains, a broad expanse of flat land, much of it covered in prairie and steppe. Once dubbed the Dust Bowl during the 1930s due to severe dust storms, this region has since recovered and is now the country's breadbasket, vital for agriculture. These arid and flat areas not only serve as a backdrop for dramatic landscapes, but they are also rich in natural resources, from oil and gas in the deserts to fertile soil in the plains, thus playing a vital role in the country's economy. From the arid deserts to the fertile plains, the U.S. is a land of contrasts. 
So what does all this geographical diversity mean? It's not just a matter of picturesque landscapes or vacation spots. The geographical diversity of the United States paints a much broader picture, shaping the climate, economy, and lifestyle of the nation. Let's start with the climate. From the icy peaks of the Alaskan mountains to the sweltering deserts of Arizona, the United States is home to a wide spectrum of climates. This range allows for a plethora of plant and animal life, each suited to thrive in its unique environment. These climates also influence the lifestyle of the people living in each region. For instance, the dry heat of the Southwest calls for an adaptation to desert living, while the cold Alaskan winters necessitate a lifestyle adept at handling harsh, icy conditions. Now, let's turn to the economy. The geographical diversity of the United States is a key driver of its economic vibrancy. The fertile plains of the Midwest, often referred to as the nation's breadbasket, are a hub for agriculture, contributing significantly to the country's food production. The mountains, with their rich deposits of coal and other minerals, play a vital role in the energy sector. The coastal regions, with their bustling ports, serve as gateways for international trade. Finally, this geographical diversity shapes the American lifestyle. The mountains offer recreational activities like skiing and hiking. The beaches provide a place for relaxation and water sports. The vast plains and deserts offer a sense of space and freedom, often inspiring artists and writers. Each region, with its unique geographical features, has developed its distinct culture and way of life. Understanding this geographical diversity is key to appreciating the United States. It's like a patchwork quilt, each piece unique yet contributing to the overall beauty of the whole. It's a testament to the adaptability of life, both human and otherwise, to the varied conditions offered by our planet. In essence, the United States is a geographical melting pot, a testament to the varied and beautiful landscapes that our planet has to offer.